Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and much appreciated you guys uh, spending some time with me today checking the video out. Just a quick one today, I just want to invite everybody to check out, um, I did a podcast with uh, uh, Chris and Trey Zaldane a couple weeks ago. It's going to be airing tonight on their Zaldangerous podcast. I think it's at 6.30 Central Standard Time and if you see this video a few days from now, I'll just put the link in the description and you'll go, be able to see it there. But um, I've been doing a lot of podcasts lately on the whole forward-facing sonar deal. And uh, Chris and Trey invited me on a few weeks ago. And um, I normally don't plug these type of podcasts I do, but I just want to take a second and talk a little bit about the Zal Dangerous podcast. And uh, you know that and my appearance on it here, I think you're going to find it interesting. Um, first of all, guys, um, if... If you guys aren't familiar with Chris and Trey Zaldane, they started a podcast uh, last, I think it's been you know six months ago now, or maybe a little bit longer. And uh, Chris is a, an elite series pro, and Trey had fished the Bassmaster Opens for years. And in my opinion, I've talked about them before, um, they are the two most knowledgeable individuals out there that, about the pulse of the sport of bass fishing. They're very aware of it, they're very connected. Um, and the podcast that they have is uh, just exceptional in the fact the guests that they have and the topics they get into, hardball questions they ask, and uh, the fact that they, uh, you can't BS them. They, they, they know what's going on in the industry, and it's, it's super unique in that format there. And they don't, they're not afraid to step on toes, and it's very authentic. I think a lot of people resonate with that. But anyway, the, uh, if you want to tune into that tonight, I've said I'll put the link in the description for the video tonight or where it's, where, when it's going to be. But this isn't just a podcast about me voicing my opinion on forward-facing sonar. We touch upon it a little bit, but it's sort of a wide-ranging interview. I think you guys are going to find it pretty interesting with that. And um, I just want to encourage everybody to check out their podcast. It's like if you are interested in the sport of bass fishing and the current events surrounding it, um, it's, it's definitely well worth their time out there to do that. And this is something that is so necessary in our sport because guys, I've been in the sport for, you know, 40 years competitively almost. And for the large part or most of the, most of the time that I've been in professional fishing, um, anglers and everybody in general walked on eggshells because we were afraid of offending the sponsors. We were afraid of, afraid of offending the fans. We were afraid of offending the tournament organizations. Tournament anglers, to a large degree, lived in fear of some type of repercussion if they didn't tow a line and were just good little boys and girls. And um, I think what happened over a period of time is the public um, they, they saw how disingenuous that was, and they started tuning out a little bit. People want to see people being authentic, even if they're rough around the edges, guys. Even if they drop an F-bomb once in a while or whatever, that's okay, because you can't replace authenticity. And one of the big drawbacks that professional bass fishing has had is the fact that they really tried to suppress authenticity and free speech to a large degree, because what they did is they didn't want somebody that would offend a sponsor and the sponsor would pull out and it obviously scared they're going to lose some money because somebody said something that hurt somebody's feelings. But in retrospect, one of the things that Chris and Trait has brought to that is they brought this venue and this avenue out there where it's okay to be yourself. It's okay to be rough around the edges. It's okay to critique and criticize because if people are not that sensitive. If, if somebody is that sensitive where they get offended because somebody says this and that and they think that they're going to lose some sales on it, that's just, those aren't sustainable sales to begin with. I think people gravitate, you know, towards those individuals and people that are <clears throat> a little bit more authentic than, than not. And that's one of the things that Chris and Trait bring to the sport of bass fishing that is invaluable to the sport and it's good for the sport in the long term, you know, definitely so. But anyway, guys, just want to invite you to check it out. Like I said, I'll put the link in the description to, to the uh, video. Uh, if, when you see this video, it premieres tonight, I think 6.30 Central Standard Time. If you see this video after 6.30 tonight, again, you can use the same link in the description to watch the video. And just like to invite everybody to check it out, drop a few comments, and let me know what you guys think. So talk later.